Hello everyone. Today I would like to show you a demonstration of this beautiful uh, sea with this nice boat. Uh, the photography is so colorful, uh, full of purple, pink, blue, white, and uh, warm color of uh, sunshine, refle uh, reflection of uh, sunshine. It's yellowy, orangey here. So it's, it's really nice photography. Because of that, I choose uh, for our painting today. Uh, before I start adding watercolor into paper, we need to have a sketch. Uh... paper wet just the sky part you can come a little bit through the mountain and through this uh, through the building as well nothing happened and then I choose this blue which is cerulean blue I keep it here like the pure cerulean blue and I mix it here by a permanent rose to give me a nice purpley color like that. the sky part you can leave it completely draw and then add the next uh, next part because if we add the, the building and the mountain it mix with our uh, sky color and give uh, give us not a really good result we don't need to uh, let them mix together you can wait a little bit I have a brown which is burnt umber. If you have Van Dyke, Van Dyke is dark too. It's similar dark bluey color. So I go with the cobalt a little bit to mix with this brown and give me some dark color like that. This is good for the heel. And for the building, I see uh, some creamy warm color, which is good to use. Uh, raw sienna and for the trees which is dark we use mixture of uh, sap green this is the green that i want and i mix this green with the blue so let me start for the hill or mountain first
and we can use wet and wet technique too because of uh, having the nice and smooth surface. So first of all, I make my paper wet. Everywhere I add a clean water on my paper and prepare it for <clears throat> wet on wet techniques. Okay. And now we need, again, cerulean blue color, or sometimes you can use the brilliant color. That's, that's similar cerulean. This is the pure one. And for this part, I want to mix a little bit near purple. So I add some permanent rose into this mixture. And again, I need the warm color that I use pure uh, orange color or pure uh, permanent rose. So first of all, I can use with just the blue color.
Go really detailedly because uh, if I go with more details, it's come forward. Let me clean my palette first. And then I use this raw sienna. I can mix it with reddish brown, which is which is sorry, burnt sienna to make it just a bit darker. And you see here, I use less water, so it's more dark. And with the side of my brush, I would like to create a texture. With the side, I mean hold the brush or belly of my black brush. And on top, get darker. Oh, it's really dark, so. With napkin, you can reduce this darkness. Okay. Again, I leave it here by light color because uh, this part is on light. And again, back to this part to make it dark. I need the line for the roof. The roof is to get darker. Side of the building is darker, so I can mix a little bit purple too. Not just one tone. I prefer not to go with one tone of the color. Very nice and accurate. Try to add the color into your boat. Sometimes you see here the texture create because of the draw brush and draw paper. Sometimes the uh, brush is getting draw and the paper is draw too. So you can add some nice texture. If you like, you can keep it. This is one technique. If you don't like, you can cover it like that. I prefer to have it. And I would like to add some more blue color. I use ultramarine blue because ultramarine blue is darker than my cobalt. And then can cover everything. The line that it's between the river, uh, between the water and the boat should be darker.
until this part get draw, I can add the reflection of this uh, part of the river, uh, this part of the boat into the river. Exactly, I continue here to there, but not like the straight line. It should be like the wavy line into the water because for the water, it's, it's completely wavy. It's different, so, and a little lighter than the real one, so. You can control with napkin to have less and uh, more darkness because if you draw the straight line continue, it doesn't show that it's on the river. Everything that you see for the boat should be uh, have the reflection into this uh, river and then like the wavy, not really visible. much for joining me i hope you enjoy painting river and boat so thanks for watching <laughs>